Hello everybody, just a short video to give you an idea of the week 5 matchups of Super League. We've, as you can see we start with Group A here, we have Diomed, Strider and myself. Still in contention, uh, Coltrip, Moomin Slayer and Inarian are eliminated. Um, as you can see only 2 points for a win. I quite like this because, uh, the, so the tiebreaker is first of all number of wins. So, you know, two draws is worse than a win and a loss. But stuff like three draws is better than one win and two losses. And I prefer that. I think three points for a win, you know, came through football, making it more appealing for television. For, for like a hundred years before that, it was, you know, two points for a win, one for a draw. American football is like that. And, and you know, I think Blood Bowl is a game where drawing is hard, right? And like pushing for the win is just not, it's not a question of playing a bit more adventurous. It's like suicidal versus a lot of teams. So... I really like. I really much prefer two points for a win, uh, one for a draw. So, yeah. Now, now, if you look at this, you what? And the but the also what we have as the tiebreaker is head to head. So, um, if we look at the fixtures, you can see I'm playing Diamond there. That's the that's the standout amazing match. And Arian's playing Call Troop, and Moomin's playing Strider. So. Cold Trip versus Anarian is, uh, you know, unaffected, doesn't affect the standings at all. Moomin Slayer versus Strider. Moomin Slayer beat Anarian, right? He, he absolutely destroyed his team. So maybe he could replicate that and, and beat Strider. Who knows? I wouldn't bet on it, but you never know. And then myself versus Strider is obviously like a huge match. Now, I basically need to win, right? Because I think Strider will beat Moomin Slayer. If I beat Diomed then, and Strider beats Moomin Slayer, then all three of us are on seven points. Diomed will have a draw and a loss versus the other two. Strider will have a win and a draw, and I will have a win and a loss. So if, if, if that happens, all three of us on seven points, I will go through, Strider will go through, and Diomed will go out. Of course, if Strider draws versus Moomin Slayer and I beat Diomed, then we both go through. If Strider lose to Moomin Slayer and I draw, then Diomed and I will go through. So, uh, you know, Diomed is a big favourite. It's going to be really hard to beat Diomed. Um, I'm left ruining, ruining my decisions versus Strider and Cold Troop. You know, maybe if I could have eked out some more points there, that would have really helped. Especially versus Strider, right? I, I feel like if I had... I feel like I tilted a bit, you know, I gave up a bit because I'd had like five orcs cast. It was, you know, it was a bit ridiculous, but maybe if I'd just done the right things and scrapped, maybe I could have got a draw versus that game versus Strider. And if I had, I'd have been sitting pretty. But um, anyway, it is what it is, right? Um, it's going to be very interesting. And you never know, I might beat Diamed and go through. But I have to say, it's looking like Strider and Diamed will advance from Group A. There you go. And then if we look at group B, you can see Andy Davo and Cruz are top. Hiru's there with five points and Olivier, Sol and Artemis are all eliminated. Now what's interesting with the matches for week five is it's all somebody eliminated versus somebody still in contention. Um, Race-wise, I would say Orcs versus Skaven, Andy versus Olivier, advantages to the Orcs. Artemis with Orcs versus Cruz, with humans, the advantages to the Orcs. And Hiru versus Sol, Dwarves versus Rats, I would say Dwarves have the advantage. Slight. Um, and you know, only a slight advantage for Orcs as well, right? Skaven can always score the one turn. But um, I think the crucial thing there is, I think, you know, humans are not favoured versus Orcs. So I think it's looking pretty tricky for Cruz here. But you know, it's, it's so easy, honestly, it's so easy for the Skaven to, to win. Or draw versus the bash teams that's that all these matches are going to be super interesting really cro close between andy cruz and hiru there could be a three-way tie there as well and if there is a three-way tie between those three then it's totally even between everybody so <laughs> they've all drawn against each other so yeah that, that's you know that's just too close to call really really is too close to call um but yeah great that like you know Great that you know both divisions are tight, right? Both both divisions have three people in contention, only one or two points between them all, and uh, you know hopefully hopefully the week five will all be really good games, and uh, 
we'll get some we'll get you know some great things oh yeah and i should also explain of course there's a link down below for uh, the tables which also has like you know the fixtures and everything and the historical uh, seasons that we've had also so the top two yeah the top two go through the winner of group a will play the runner-up of group b and the runner-up of group a will play the winner of group b in the semi-finals and then we'll have the grand final where those two play off so there you go right that's it it's a very short video um thanks for watching everybody and um, of course all of the videos will be on you know all the vods will be on youtube and uh twitch live on twitch links also around somewhere um yeah thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic